Well, hello there, Pilgrim. Welcome to our little film punk community. Pull up a chair, put your feet up, and pour yourself some lube. When it comes to actors, there's the good. I almost had him! I almost had him! The bad. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. And the ugly. Oi. Anyway, you might have a fantastic actor, like Colin Farrell. Or they might be wooden, not off book, no emotion, no action, overacting, underacting, weird eyebrow stuff. It's all bad. So here's 10 tips to get more from actors. <coughs> Even terrible ones. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Why are you Number one, use verbs. Ask them to be suspicious or cautious, jovial. Are they curious or are they outraged? An outrage! Number two, give actors direction separately. I've used this in conflict scenes a few times. Talk to each actor without the other hearing it. Tell them their directions individually. When they come together, their responses will be a lot more authentic and authentic is good. We want authentic. It's nice. Do it. Number three, if you've got non-actors, new actors, lousy actors, give them something to do. A movement, possibly a little blocking, get them to make a drink, make them make some toast, fold some laundry, anything like that, but nothing fidgety. We don't want this and we don't want this and all this kind of stuff because that is a continuity nightmare. Yeah, you can say that again. We don't want nightmares, do we? Number four. Give your actors a direction, not a destination. Tell them that they need to head towards the point where they're about to blow up or head towards the area where they're going to get so upset by this thing. If you give them a destination rather than a direction, they'll go straight into it and it won't seem organic and it won't seem natural or good. Number five, say as if, as if, as if a different location. Get your character to play this scene out as if it's a different character. Maybe you're in a library. Maybe you're in a busy baseball match or a restaurant. Maybe you're in an area where you need to be secretive. Get them to play the scene out as if something. And that is another really good top tip if you've got new or inexperienced actors. There is a bonus tip for those of you who stick around until the very bitter end, the very bitter end, the bitter end, bitter end. Number six, faster and flatter. Speed up the lines, try less. If you've got a novice actor, this might get them to stop doing weird I'm acting faces and weird tics and speech patterns and stuff that they kind of do sometimes. If you tell them to make less effort and go faster, that will hopefully stop them from having enough time on their brains to be crap. Number seven, if the actor gets into the character's personality, but then loses that personality during the course of filming, it's best to take a break and punctuate it and restart afterwards, like a full reboot, turn it off and on again. Reassuring them that that's okay is fine, but don't overdo it because then they won't trust your judgment because they'll think you're just making it up as you go along. What? Number eight. Usually for sad scenes, actors focus on past events in their lives, real things that really make them upset. The same can be said for nice things as well, I'm sure. The actor is experiencing this trauma potentially again for your benefit. So caution, if you're gonna get actors to do this, be very mindful of burnout. And if the actors leave this state before you've finished your scene, bear in mind number seven, take a break, reboot, turn your actors off and on again. Number nine, if they are theater actors, and you will know it, you'll need to tone them down a little bit. Don't reboot them, that'll just make them worse, but tone them down a little bit. They're trained to project to the back of the theatre to an open air crowd and overacting is needed because if you don't overact on a stage and people are sat in the gods, they won't see that you're doing anything. They'll just think that you're all stood on stage having a convo between each other. 
Film acting is way more subtle. So go back to the previous tips, use verbs, locations, as if, tone them right down. Turn them down from 10, maybe down to a solid one or two. Tip number 10, do auditions, dude. Seriously, all of these tips, we could just avoid them all. Do auditions, find the best actors you can, do self tips, and if you can, do actual physical in-person auditions because you'll get your best actors then and it will save a lot of this trouble. And now a bonus tip. If you're directing, really get to know your characters and your story. Know how your character would react to any situation, not just the ones in the film. Know how they feel, know what they would think. Because if you can't think it and you can't feel it, you've got zero chance of getting it out of any actor, even if they're good. So you've got no hope if they're bad. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.